Welcome, fellow seekers of financial enlightenment. Today, we embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries of money, diving deep into the untold truths that shape our financial world. Money, the very fabric of our modern society, holds within it layers of complexities and hidden truths often overlooked by the casual observer. But fear not, for by the end of this exploration you'll gain a newfound understanding of money's power, its nuances and its impact on our lives. Imagine for a moment a world without money. How would we measure value? How would we exchange goods and services? Money, in its essence, is a tool, a medium of exchange that facilitates transactions and economic activity. Yet its significance transcends mere transactions. It permeates every aspect of our lives, influencing our decisions, shaping our aspirations, and defining our social status. But beneath its glossy surface lies a tapestry of secrets waiting to be unveiled. Let us delve deeper, peeling back the layers of misconceptions and revealing the untold truths that lie at the core of money. Before I continue, please click the subscribe button and put on the notification bell to all so that any time I post, you will be the first person to watch the video. And also, don't forget to like and comment. Thank you. Now, before we dive into the intricacies of money, let me hook you with a tantalizing truth. Money is not just about numbers, it's about psychology, power and perception. Think about it, why are some people wealthy while others struggle to make ends meet? Is it purely a matter of luck or hard work, or is there something more profound at play? The truth is, our relationship with money is deeply rooted in our beliefs, attitudes and behaviors. It's not just about how much we earn, but how we perceive wealth and abundance. Consider the phenomenon of scarcity mindset versus abundance mindset. Those who operate from a scarcity mindset believe that there is never enough, that they must hoard resources and cling tightly to what they have. On the other hand, those with an abundance mindset embrace the belief that there is plenty to go around, that opportunities are limitless and wealth is attainable. Now, here's the kicker. Our mindset towards money often dictates our financial outcomes. If we approach money with fear and scarcity, we may inadvertently repel wealth and abundance from our lives. Conversely, if we adopt an abundance mindset, we open ourselves up to opportunities and attract prosperity into our lives. But our psychological relationship with money is just the tip of the iceberg. Money wields immense power, a power that can be both liberating and corrupting. It shapes economies, influences politics, and dictates social hierarchies. The distribution of wealth is not merely a matter of economic policy. It's a reflection of power dynamics and systemic inequalities. And let's not forget the role of perception in the world of money. Have you ever noticed how the value of a product or service is often subjective? Take, for example, luxury goods, items that command exorbitant prices not because of their intrinsic value, but because of the perceived status they confer upon their owners. In essence, money is as much about perception as it is about tangible wealth. Now that we've laid the groundwork, let's embark on a journey through the labyrinth of money's untold truths, one step at a time. Step 1. The Origins of Money To understand money, we must first explore its origins. Contrary to popular belief, money did not emerge out of a simple need for exchange. Rather, its evolution is deeply intertwined with human civilization itself. Picture this. Thousands of years ago, our ancestors lived in small, self-sufficient communities, relying on barter to obtain the goods and services they needed. But as societies grew more complex, the limitations of barter became apparent. How do you trade your excess grain for a new pair of shoes when the cobbler doesn't need grain? Enter money. In its earliest forms, money took shape as commodities, items with intrinsic value that could be easily exchanged for other goods. From shells to precious metals, these commodities served as the precursors to modern currency, providing a universal medium of exchange that transcended the limitations of barter. But the story doesn't end there. As civilizations flourished and trade networks expanded, the need for a more efficient means of exchange became apparent. Thus, the concept of fiat money was born, a system where currency derives its value not from its intrinsic worth, but from the trust and confidence of the people who use it. Today, our paper bills and digital currencies represent this evolution of money, embodying centuries of human ingenuity and innovation. Step 2. The Psychology of Money 
Money is not just about economics, it's about psychology. Our attitudes, beliefs and behaviors towards money shape our financial outcomes in ways we may not even realize. Consider, for example, the concept of money scripts, deep-seated beliefs about money that we inherit from our upbringing and societal influences. These scripts can either empower us to achieve financial success or hold us back from realizing our full potential. Take, for instance, the belief that money is the root of all evil. This pervasive myth suggests that wealth is inherently corrupting, that those who pursue riches are morally bankrupt. But in reality, money is merely a tool. It is neither good nor evil. It is our actions and intentions that determine its moral value. On the flip side, there's the belief that more money equals more happiness. While it's true that financial security can alleviate stress and provide opportunities for enjoyment, the pursuit of wealth at the expense of everything else can lead to dissatisfaction and disillusionment. True happiness, it seems, lies not in the accumulation of wealth, but in the richness of our relationships and experiences. Step 3. The Power Dynamics of Money Money is power, a statement that rings true across cultures and civilizations. From ancient empires to modern democracies, the distribution of wealth has always been intricately linked to the distribution of power. In today's world, economic inequality is reaching unprecedented levels with a small fraction of the population holding the majority of the world's wealth. This concentration of power has far-reaching consequences, shaping everything from political agendas to social mobility. But the power dynamics of money extend beyond mere economics. They influence our daily lives in subtle yet profound ways. Consider, for instance, the concept of financial privilege. Those born into wealth enjoy a myriad of advantages, from better education and healthcare to greater opportunities for career advancement. Meanwhile, those born into poverty face systemic barriers that perpetuate their economic disadvantage. Furthermore, money has the power to influence our perceptions of ourselves and others. Studies have shown that wealthier individuals are often perceived as more competent and trustworthy than their less affluent counterparts, a phenomenon known as the halo effect. This inherent bias can have real-world implications, affecting everything from job prospects to social interactions. Step 4. The Influence of Culture on Money Culture plays a significant role in shaping our perceptions and behaviors towards money. From cultural norms surrounding spending and saving to rituals and traditions related to wealth accumulation, our cultural background profoundly influences our financial decisions. For example, in some cultures there is a strong emphasis on saving and frugality, with individuals encouraged to prioritize financial security over immediate gratification. In contrast, in cultures that place a high value on conspicuous consumption, status symbols and lavish spending are seen as indicators of success and social standing. Moreover, cultural attitudes towards debt and investment vary widely, with some cultures viewing debt as taboo and others leveraging it as a strategic tool for wealth creation. Understanding the cultural nuances surrounding money is essential for navigating diverse financial landscapes and building inclusive financial systems that cater to the needs of all individuals. Step 5. The Impact of Technology on Money In the digital age, technology is revolutionizing the way we think about and interact with money. From mobile payment apps to blockchain technology, innovations in fintech are reshaping the financial landscape, offering new opportunities and challenges for consumers and businesses alike. One of the most significant developments in recent years is the rise of cryptocurrency, a digital or virtual form of currency that utilizes cryptography for security and operates independently of central banks. Bitcoin, the first and most well-known cryptocurrency, has captured the imagination of investors and technologists alike, promising decentralized and secure transactions free from government control. But the impact of technology extends beyond cryptocurrency. Mobile banking apps, robo-advisors and peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms are democratizing access to financial services, empowering individuals to take control of their finances and participate in the global economy like never before. However, with these technological advancements also come new risks and challenges, such as cybersecurity threats, 
privacy concerns and the potential for financial exclusion for those without access to digital infrastructure. As we embrace the digital revolution, it is essential to strike a balance between innovation and regulation, ensuring that technology serves the needs of all individuals and fosters financial inclusion and empowerment. Step 6. The Emotional Impact of Money Money isn't just a matter of numbers, it's deeply intertwined with our emotions and mental well-being. Our financial situation can have a significant impact on our mental health, influencing our stress levels, self-esteem and overall happiness. For many people, financial stress is a constant companion, looming over every decision and interaction. Whether it's struggling to make ends meet, grappling with debt or worrying about retirement, financial anxiety can take a severe toll on our mental and emotional health. Moreover, our relationship with money can be fraught with complex emotions such as guilt, shame and envy. We may feel guilty for indulging in luxuries or ashamed of our financial struggles. We may also experience envy towards those who seem to effortlessly attain wealth and success. Understanding the emotional dimensions of money is crucial for fostering a healthy relationship with our finances. By practicing mindfulness, seeking support when needed, and reframing our thoughts and beliefs about money, we can cultivate resilience and emotional well-being in the face of financial challenges. Step 7. The Ethical Considerations of Money Money has the power to shape not only our lives, but also the world around us. As consumers and investors, we have the opportunity to vote with our dollars and support companies and causes that align with our values. However, navigating the ethical complexities of money can be challenging. How do we reconcile our desire for financial gain with our moral compass? How do we ensure that our investments contribute to positive social and environmental outcomes rather than perpetuating harm? One approach is to practice ethical investing, choosing investments that prioritize environmental sustainability, social justice and corporate responsibility. This may involve divesting from industries such as fossil fuels, weapons manufacturing or exploitative labor practices and instead investing in companies that promote diversity, equality and sustainability. But ethical considerations extend beyond investing. We must also consider the ethical implications of our spending habits, supporting businesses that prioritize fair labor practices, environmental stewardship and community engagement. By aligning our financial decisions with our values, we can harness the power of money for good, creating positive change in the world while securing our own financial futures. In doing so, we not only enrich our lives but also contribute to a more just and sustainable society for generations to come. As we conclude our journey through the untold truths of money, I urge you to reflect on the insights we've uncovered. Money is not just a medium of exchange, it's a reflection of our values, beliefs and societal structures. By understanding the psychology, power dynamics and origins of money, we can navigate the complex landscape of finance with clarity and purpose. But our exploration doesn't end here. The world of money is vast and ever-changing, filled with new discoveries waiting to be made. So I invite you to subscribe to our channel, join the conversation, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Together, let's continue our quest for financial enlightenment and empower ourselves to create a more equitable and prosperous world for all.